Here we have the Lacrosse 318 made by a company called Primetime Manufacturing. They are an affiliate of Forest River Inc. This trailer is a dual slide bunk model, 35 feet in length, but it has an upgrade feature that most don't have in standard travel trailers. You have an outdoor docking station inside like a fifth wheel does. You get the complete pass-through storage. You'll also have, if you notice, the baggage doors are a one inch thick insulated door versus your standard half inch thick standard doors. Plus also they have a dock or a um, slam latch baggage door system like a Greyhound bus does. And also to have around the edges here a automotive bulb seal. So when this door is closed, it is sealed very tight. So you won't have any of the dust coming through you would have on some of the lesser models. Uh, here again too, looking at into your pass-through storage. It does come with the barbecue on this unit. Comes down with the standard four power stabilizer jacks around the unit. Um, walking over into the trailer area here. There's a picture here that shows the Eternabon construction. It's a fully six-sided welded laminated trailer, two inch thick walls. Um, you also have up here, there's a keyless entry system on this unit. Um, walking more to the outside down here. The axles on these are about a foot wider than normal axles. These are called load equalization axles. And these help distribute the weight, which takes tongue weight off your tow vehicle and makes it more stable on the highway. Going to the back end, this unit also has the outdoor cook station and it has the full rock front onto it that adds that real elegant look to it. You got a sink, a full pull two out or a two burner stove that pulls out here. You also have cupboards up top that aren't that high, so you've got lots of extra storage on the outside. You also have a swing arm barbecue grill that swings around, so if you're cooking out here, the barbecue is just off to your left. Makes it real handy. You have the power awning. You also have a dedicated spot under the awning to put your TV on from the inside if you want to watch when you're outside on a nice warm day. Coming into the trailer, Looking at your bedroom area, the queen bed is a is a top end mattress, very very firm. You've got closets on both sides and above storage. Into your living area, you have a air mattress sofa with a pull out drawer on the bottom. You've also got the big huge U shaped dinette, which is the widest in the industry at 87 inches. The table also has a quick pin pull. Will drop down for the base of the bed. Or you can take that table when it's down and put it in front of your coffee table or in front of your couch for as it uses a coffee table when you're watching TV. Your entertainment center is unlike anything else out there. You have cupboards up above, you have an actual countertop, and you have drawers and more space to, to put things. Your TV here will come off of this, and you can also take it into your bedroom area and just above your bed. On this here, you'll see there's a swing arm down where you can mount your TV in the bedroom area. Going back out to your entertainment center, looking up at the top here, open up one of your drawers. All your monitor systems, your power awning buttons and your slide buttons are all well out of the reach of young fingers, so they can't touch them. Looking at your countertops, these are, this is an E-Stone countertop. Looks very similar to the Corian, but at less than half the weight. So it gives you a nice, nice countertops to, to, to work with. Also too, you've got dedicated, you got ball bearing drawer glides at, for full extension. Also in the kitchen area, you have got two huge massive pots and pan drawers that uh, can store more than probably what your house has. Also you got a dedicated pantry with adjustable shelving and a dedicated spot for your garbage can underneath here. We have, also have rounded corners so very residential like. You also have the digital thermostat thermometer inside here. Walking into the kids room you have got the couch that makes into a bed. It also has fold down for drink holders if the kids have games inside here. When that bottom bunk or couch is folded out it's actually six inches wider than a standard double bunk. You have your top bunk that'll flip up out of the way. You have your double wide bunk on the opposite side with a closet, a ladder to get up. You also have two big huge drawers for storage and a place here for the TV set. And also another thing that the moms really love is down below here, there's a flip up 
little bottom here that the kids can put their games or anything up out of the way so nothing has to be tripped over. Also comes too with the other pull-up mattress on the bottom of the bunk for extra sleeping arrangements should someone else be coming with. Into the bathroom area it has its own entranceway to the outside. It has a porcelain foot flush toilet. It has a huge tub with a very nice skylight. You've got a very nice very nice medicine chest and a nice vanity. So all in all, when you look at the lacrosse system or the, the trailers, they are a step above everything else on the market in the midpoint price range and feature for feature, nothing else can beat them.